three Kiwis are on the adventure of a lifetime across the Greenland ice cap. The month-long expedition was organised by the Antarctic Heritage Trust and Jacob Johnson joins us in the studio now with General Manager Francesca Ethorn. So, Francesca, what's this expedition all about? Well, Jacob, Antarctic Heritage Trust cares for this incredible legacy of early exploration in Antarctica. So we care for five historic huts down there from the early explorers over 100 years ago, including Scott and Shackleton, and of course, more recently, Sir Edmund Hillary. So one of the things that's really important to us is that we're able to connect young people with the spirit of exploration. So one of the initiatives that we run are these annual Inspiring Explorers Expeditions. And this third one has been about crossing the Greenland ice cap. Right, and so why has it been in Greenland this year? Great, so normally we would go to Antarctica, but this year is the 130th anniversary of the first crossing of the ice cap by this extraordinary Norwegian, Fridjof Nansen. So our team is celebrating that first crossing and honouring Nansen and this early spirit of exploration. Awesome. Now we do have a few photos of the crossing, um, and there's three Kiwis on the expedition, um, but how many in total are on the trip? Sure, so there's six on total, so three Kiwis, our guide and two young Australians as well. Oh, fantastic. And one of them's Holly Woodha Woodhouse, who's actually yes. here from Christchurch, isn't she? Yes, she is. And the other Kiwi is Brando Jelovic, who's actually the first Kiwi to circumnavigate New Zealand on foot. He did this a few years ago, so a, a really epic expedition for him. And we're just delighted that he's been able to join us as well. Tell me about the selection process. Was it quite rigorous? It was really rigorous. I mean, we were asking people to take a, a month off work or a month off study to go 560 kilometres across the Greenland ice cap and up to minus 30 degrees, dragging 60 kilogram sleds behind them. So we needed people who were really resilient, who were mentally tough, physically tough. We had 200 applications from across Australia and New Zealand, and we ended up taking six young people on a selection weekend and from there choosing the final four. Mm. So it was pretty tough to make the cut. Wow, well, good on them. And I mean, they're carrying quite a lot of gear across the terrain as well. What, I mean, how much gear are they carrying? Sure. So so they start off with 60 kilograms of gear, so that's all their food, um, fuel for cooking, uh, their tents and of course all their clothing. We're actually really lucky to be sponsored by Kathmandu for this expedition and the team have got the latest XT series, so especially conditioned for extreme environments, so they're nice and warm and cosy. Fantastic, and they started at the beginning of May and they're coming to the end now, aren't they? They are hot off the press this morning, we hear they're into their last 24 hours. Um, there's been some pretty bad storms along the way, so they've been slightly delayed and we're expecting them off the ice cap uh, late on Friday we believe. Oh, fantastic, that's really exciting and I mean they have had some trials along the way haven't they? I mean did you think they were going to make it? Well we were always very positive this is an incredible team of young people but perhaps one of the things that's really challenging is if you can imagine crossing the Greenland ice cap there is a lot of white. It's been described as being on the inside of a white ping pong ball so there's no external stimulus. They're not racing the clock so it's like how do you yes, mentally cope yes. with seeing the same thing oh, day after fantastic. day? Well, Thank you so much for your time, Francesca. Cheers. <laughs>